office time. So this is from the front porch. And then of course, as you go into the door for the office, Welcome back to another house to home vlog. So today we are gonna be doing some painting. And yes, I have on the same clothes because I'm simultaneously recording two different vlogs at the same time. So today um, I'm gonna start painting. So I'm gonna start with the laundry room because they're bringing the washer and dryer on Saturday. Um, Mike wants me to paint one wall. I recommended I do two walls, but I really wanna do all the walls. I'm gonna show you guys the laundry room and you let me know in the comments what you guys think. But by the time you see this, I would have already made a decision, but I'm pretty sure I wanna do all the room, the all the walls. So hold on, let me get over there. This is the current condition of the laundry room. Storing our cleaning all the paint and this beautiful piece of artwork so mike thinks i should just paint this wall i suggest it let me paint this wall and this wall behind the door but i really want to paint it all and the color let's see underground garden and i don't even think you guys can really get oh there you go so that's the color um will i have enough for the entire room okay washer dryer sign floating shelf or i'll put the sign up there and right here will be like an armoire kind of a thing for our linens, like towels and stuff. And then back here, behind the door will be like the, um, you know how they have the rack that you can snap the mop, the broom and stuff like that. That will be here. And then also we have an outlet here to plug in um, Vacuum, plug in a vacuum. So those things will go here. So I think this side for sure needs to be painted because it's gonna constantly be knocked with the different things that go here. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys agree with Mike? The room should not all be green or do you think it should be all green? Because I think it should be all green. One, it's a lot bigger on camera than what it looks, but I want to make it fun and enjoyable to make me want to come in here and do laundry. Um, so if I have something to look at, that would be great. I also got the paint for our guest room my office, our room, Aislinn's room, and then again, the laundry. So, and if you guys didn't see the vlog when I mentioned it, because I don't know which one it'll be in, this is going in my office. It was supposed to go in my half bathroom, but it's way too big, bigger than I thought. So, it's gonna go in my office. It's gonna be the statement. So let me get this cleared out. I think the, Security guys will be here in a minute, so I don't have very much time.
Okay, let's go over these materials. So, I got these at Walmart. Smooth walls and ceilings. Now, one thing I did notice when I was picking up the rollers is it will tell you which paint it's good for. So I was gonna get this for all of it, but I didn't get the same kind of paint for every room. So the one that's going in, the, in here is satin, and he recommended the level not so shiny. The level not shiny. Um, I think it's eggshell. I'm pretty sure it's eggshell. He recommended that for the moisture, but I needed something I could wipe. So I just went to the next one that was had a little bit of sheen to it. Um, so I did satin. These are for satin, satin, eggshell, and flat. So I'm gonna use this for in there. And handy dandy roller. I got this at Walmart, nothing fancy, real simple but it's gonna do the job. Then I got frog tape. I had the blue tape selected, but um, I just happened to look up and notice this. I remembered seeing it on a reel that it was a good tape to use because it it did the, let me sit this down somewhere, y'all. Because of the, see this is how the blue tape edges will be, and this is how these edges are supposed to be. Okay. Then I got these brushes. So these are for, I'll use one per room to do like the paint around the edges before I start rolling. And then I have these, really this is for corners, really, if I'm being honest. I don't like washing brushes. I know it's a waste, but I'd rather use it for the color, throw it away. So I get inexpensive brushes. Okay. Then this is an edge controller kind of a situation. So you don't doubt it with paint. You just kind of lightly touch the paint and then do like where you want those lines to be clean before you start rolling. So that's what this works. I got this at Walmart too. And I just got a really basic paint tray. Again, Walmart. It's tougher, not as flimsy as the other ones. It's kind of flimsy, but not as flimsy, but I'm not gonna be moving this a lot. So it's gonna stay stationary. So I'm gonna start, oh wait, the biggest thing. Got this at Home Depot, the depot of the home. Okay, so this is 10 by 25 clear um, plastic sheeting for the floor. So I'll use this to get the floor prepped. Um, so in the frog tape, I got two kinds. This one's thicker. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think this is 1.88 in inches wide. And this one's one point four one inches wide. So this one's thinner than this one. I'm gonna use this to, to do the baseboard and the plastic and this to do like the ceiling. But I wanted this one so I wasn't trying to squeeze the plastic and the baseboard onto this little one. So that's the plan. Uh, let's get started. I didn't get very far. <coughs> I got that taped off, that taped off, that taped off, and then started doing the bottom. Ace, oh, let me turn this camera around. Aislinn has a Valentine's Day party at her school, and, um, <coughs> Originally, I wasn't gonna be able to make it because I um, 
had to be here for the security installation, but now I can. And I have on paint clothes. I am not looking like much of anything today. So I figured the least I can do for her is take these two twists out and get them, let me fix this light. It's kind of bright in here. I wonder if I, there we go, that's better. Okay, it is 1.57. The Valentine's Day party starts at two o'clock, y'all. Oh Lord. I was trying to get as far as I could and then I had to call for new security, but I'm just gonna take these twists out and like so like that in my tap at the brown voice. And do this one. I literally have paint clothes on. I am not prepared to be mixing and mingling with no parents. Okay. And then, because I don't wanna leave that out, I'm gonna take that and tuck it back here and then tidy this up. So it kinda, just wanna kinda look like something. And I'm gonna have my mask on so I don't need makeup or anything. Uh, I am gonna be late, but I'm gonna go ahead and take her after that so I can, I don't have to go back up there. So, I mean, it kind of worked out that they had, that they didn't install because then I didn't have to be here. And now I can go to her school because she was kind of sad that nobody was gonna make it. Mike's at work, my mom's at home working. And I had to be here for security. So, all right, you guys. I don't know when I'll pick this. I'll try to pick it back up when I get back from this party, but. I gotta go, it's two o'clock. I'll see y'all when I get back. And just like that, I'm back. It's 4.36. Um, the Valentine's party went good. I didn't really get to enjoy much of it. By the time I got there, it was like, mm, maybe like five, 10 minutes left and then they start cleaning up. And I went ahead and took Aislinn because I was not going back. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't making them that extra trip. Um, so took her home. Well, getting used to this. Took her to mama's house. And now I'm back at our house to finish this painting. So um, I am about to, one, I need to fix this. Cause I don't want I don't want paint in my hair. So, yeah. Oh, Aislinn was surprised that I showed up because I said I wasn't gonna be able to show up. So she was surprised. And I know it's not all of my hair covered, but at least for the most part. Okay, let me get, get in here. See how far I gotta reach to like look in the mirror? This is why I said more than likely I'll be using the half bathroom to do my hair and like makeup and stuff. Like when I really gotta get in there and see. Anyway, let's get to it. Uh, I'm gonna record setting up and uh, a little bit of painting, but I probably will not be talking because I'm getting ready to listen to something my mom sent me. And I think I left. Yeah, I left my phone. Um, let's see, let's see. It's actually really hilarious, if I do say so myself. Let me put you guys down. Um. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to block this, so I hope you can 
see it. If you can't, just YouTube Marcus D. Wiley Live, the word church. It was for their anniversary celebration. Hilarious. I'm not even all the way through it, and it's it's rather funny. I'm like 13 minutes in, and it's been funny. So check it out. Everything is all taped off, and this is how it's looking. Everything is taped, and the color is Underground Gardens. And I already kind of opened it, so let me show you guys. Well, okay, here we go. I need to get my nails done, so. I ain't too worried about it. So this is what it's looking like before I mix it. And we gonna see what this looks like on the walls. I don't know if Mike's gonna be happy with it because I did the whole room, but I hope he loves it. Let's see. Focus, focus. Yeah, I'll have to wait till like there's something in there to focus on, like a washer and dryer, but. My only thing is I wish it would have come out lighter. The way you guys are seeing it, it's actually darker than what it's showing up. So the color that I saw on the top, it just feels like it's darker in here. So that's, that's lime green and so that's the green. Now I did make a snafu and I got paint. I didn't have that blue green tape on this outlet. And so I kind of got paint on it, but it wiped up pretty good outside of in the grooves of the letters. So hopefully Mike's not upset about that because I should have taped that off. Uh, for the most part, I think everything looks good. It's so wet in some areas, it's not all the way dry, so some of that splotchiness will not be there. Um, and then I got paint on one of my socks, so I had to take that off. I uh, just shut the house down. It's very calm and peaceful in here. I had to make sure these candles were blew out. I had them lit earlier, but yeah. The house 
is shut down. So I'm about to get out of here. And it is not like you can see it, but it's eight o'clock p.m. So I'm gonna get out of here, head to my mom's house and edit some photos. Today is Thursday, February 16th, and I just got to the house. Um, they're installing our security system today, the new people. Uh, if you watched the last vlog, then you know what happened with the other people that were supposed to do it. Um, so yeah, the new people are coming today. He hasn't called yet to say he was on his way. Um, but it'll be here soon. So that installation is supposed to take, I think like four to five hours. So, um, perfect time for me to tape off my office and get it ready for painting. I was gonna do Aislinn's room first, but the step ladder is not tall enough. So I have to wait for Mike to bring me a taller ladder. But my office ceiling is the same height as the laundry room. So we should be good to go. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, so we should be good to go. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I need to remove the plastic and put all the outlet things back on. I'm really praying because I let this paint dry that when I pull the tape, it's not gonna pull the paint. I don't think it's supposed to, but I'm also not a professional painter. So did I get it too thick on the tape and then now it's not gonna lift right? We're gonna find out today. Um, oh man, hold on. I gotta run back to the car to get something. Okay, I'm back. So today's breakfast is bought to us by Panera. So I've never had breakfast at Panera. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what this is like. Cause I don't know. Okay. I asked for extra crispy bacon. They delivered on that. Um, bacon, egg, and cheese on brioche, I think. I mean, it really don't have no flavor. And I don't have no seasonings here. So I'm gonna have to make it do. Um, I also got a chai latte. I've never had their chai lattes, so we'll see what this tastes like. Hopefully it's not too sweet. I wonder is that what is that cardamom? I am gonna learn to make this at home. Let me get our beverage area set up. It doesn't taste like cinnamon. but I can taste the spice, it's pretty good. I would go back. I wish they had a taller size. Feels like a small. I like the tall one at uh, Starbucks. I like the big size. I don't know what it's called. I'm not an avid Starbucks drinker, so I don't know the technical terms and names of the cup sizes. And this is not like, Cheddar cheese? I don't know what kind of cheese that is. 
Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna finish the sandwich, turn the TV on for a minute. And then I'm gonna get in here and start lifting this paint. I mean, this plastic. I'm putting these sockets back and then giving you guys a view of how things are looking. Saturday, they bring the washer and dryer. So yes. All right, let me finish eating. The sandwich was okay. Would I get it again? Uh, I don't know, I'm not for sure. If I had my seasonings and other news. So yeah, I pretty much damaged these by putting it in the dishwasher. I should not have done that. So that's a waste of funds. I'm gonna have to throw these away. But let's let's go put these covers on. Okay, I think this one is for the light. of lines some walls are better than others but for the most part again this is probably the only spot on the ceiling that's the worst the other spots where I kiss you can't even tell so I'm not gonna worry about it I'll just fix that one spot um yeah I think I did all right y'all did all right <laughs> back up so you can see it. I feel like today the color comes off better. Let me know what you guys think. I would say the worst spot, and this could be human error, not tape error, is back behind the door. But I'd rather be back behind the door than on this side of the door. So, I mean, this looks crispy. So next on, I think it looks good with this floor too. Just picture it, washer, dryer, shelf, sign, linen storage, it's gonna look great. Okay, I'm going to get in the office and start taping. Oh, y'all, it's cold out here. Okay, it's office time. So this is from the front porch. And then of course, as you go into the door for the office, this is what it's looking like right now. And it's probably gonna struggle to focus because it's a whole lot of white in here. And then there's a window here. And you guys are going to be very surprised if I didn't tell you already, but this entire room is going to be pink. And yes, I said pink. Mike wants me to just do one wall, but <clears throat> this is going to be my creative haven and the one spot where there will be a bright, vibrant color on the wall. Come on. And the plan is, not only am I gonna do pink walls, but I'll put a curtain rod here and this will be pink curtains. How cute. So yes, let's get started taping off and getting this prepped for paint. The, um, what's his name? 
security installation said he'll be here in about an hour or so. So hopefully I can get most of this set up and ready to paint. And while he's doing that, I can paint and still have time to get Aislinn from school. Here are the paint details for the office. It is Prairie Rose. I switched it at the last minute. It, um, I got it again in the Glidden Diamond, but this time I did a semi-gloss. And I'm wondering if the paint turned out the way it did in the laundry room because it was a satin. I don't know, but we're gonna see. Um, in here, not that worried about imperfections. I'm gonna do my best again. Um, one thing I will say is I got a gallon in the laundry room paint as well. And there's still like a little more than half left in the bucket. This room is bigger, so I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit left. I mean, which is good, just in case you scratch the wall or something. Um, but yeah, these are the details of this. So let's get started. Well, in the laundry room, I started with plastic on the floors and taping the trim around the baseboard. Yeah, no. This time I'm gonna start taping the ceiling around the door and the window and putting the tape on the outlets and then putting my plastic down. I felt like that was a little bit of contradictory work, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, I learned a lot from the other. <laughs> from the other room. Um, try not to do as many small pieces because then it leaves an opening for paint to seep through. Try to use longer pieces of tape and really push it down. Um, yeah. But there's this big window and door. I think it's gonna look so cute because the trim is still gonna be white around the doors. But okay, let me get started, neither here nor there. You probably hear talking in the background because I'm watching Amai Pernicia on YouTube while well, I'm not watching, but I'm listening. Um, other thing I learned from the laundry room, use the wider tape to tape off the ceiling. That's how I kept kissing the ceiling with the paint roller and the paintbrush. Because um, I used the, the smaller one. This is the one that I used. This is the one I should have been using. So I'm gonna use that, this one for the office. What's up y'all, I'm back. The security installer came and I had to get him situated um, so I can get back in here to do what I was doing. Um, and then in the meantime, I had somebody reach out to me about buying a house. Um, so then I was trying to navigate answering their questions and getting them set up with my lender. Um, so excited and I hope they get approved because that would be really awesome. It's one of my family members and he's growing up on me kind of makes me sad, but I'm happy for him to be in a place to where he wants to be a homeowner. Being a homeowner is a big, big thing. Um, so yeah, navigating that and trying to get this room set up for paint still, but it's literally the only thing I've taped off in here. The security guy had to leave because he um, broke his drill bit at his last job, so he has to go pick up a new one. And of course it's like snowing outside. I feel so sorry because it's freezing. It's freezing out there. But we need our security, honey. I wonder if you can see it. Let me go outside. Even then, I don't even think you can see it. I wonder if I turn this down. Nope. Can y'all see that? Look 
Can you see these little white flakes? I wonder if you can. Oh well. Um, this is what the the rock thing looks like out here. Remember it was big and black? Well, now it's rock and it looks so much better and aesthetically pleasing. Okay, I gotta get back in here because it's too cold out there. Oh my God, I feel so bad. So, so bad for that man. This is pretty darn cold. taped off and ready for painting. You already seen us there, but everything's ready to go. I'm getting ready to get started. So my mom is gonna get Aislinn from school. Uh, the security guy just got done. It's about 3.35 p.m. And um, I'm going to, ooh, that got bright. I'm going to go ahead and paint this room. And then I have to go to my mom's house and make these shirts right quick and get them shipped out. Um, and then go to work. So it's still gonna be a very long night. Aislinn's out of school tomorrow, so I can get a lot done tomorrow, but I think I'm just gonna work all day. Um, I don't know if she has school on Monday or not. I know that sounds bad, but I'll have to look at the calendar at home. Um, yeah, so let's do this. a workout my arms are sore and my body is saying what is happening it looks so good though I wish you could see the true color let me try to yep it ain't gonna do it all right let me get back to it hey okay, here we go this is the finished product it looks really really pretty 
just finished this last wall. I feel like the semi-gloss went on much more evenly coated. Like it doesn't look splotchy like the laundry room, but again, it's the laundry room. This is the room we need to look how it needs to look. So yes, excited, can't wait to take the tape off. I already brought the painting in here and kind of held it up in my hands to see what it would look like and it's gonna look fabulous on this wall. And then the other artwork I got I think I'm gonna put here, make like a collage wall here. And then of course here will be the TV. It's Friday, February 17th. Aislinn doesn't have school today, so she's here. Um, yeah, so we just got to the house and Mike's been here since early this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what the house looks like and let you know what's going on. Um, brought some stuff over from my mom's house and I'm trying to think. Mike just left to go get some food with the sound system guy and yeah. Now I'm gonna do what I can while I'm here but as soon as he gets back, him and Aislinn are gonna hang out and then I'm going to work. So this is what's currently happening in our living and entryway. So Mike, okay, so not, I don't know. Okay, rewind. So we're getting sound system and so far, I only see two installed. So there's the one right there over the beverage area in between like by the refrigerator. And then there's one up here between the living room and the fireplace area. So now, I'll take you guys this way. Yeah, and then on top of that, Mike, <laughs> Lord, Mike has bought the TV from his office and I guess I should probably turn that to tear off. Somebody's here in the backyard burying the line for the Cox cable. Um, so Mike bought all this here today. This is from his office. And I think the rest of it's from his office too. Um, so I think this TV is gonna stay in here, the sub. I have no idea what this thing is. I don't know any of this, what's, what's happening or what's going on, but it looks intense and it looks like a lot. That's all I know. So um, there will be, I think a speaker up there and then a speaker goes, and then the speaker goes in our bathroom up here somewhere. Um, but that's not in yet. So he must've did the two and started the station in the basement and then they went to go have lunch. This is a TV, um, I'll explain where I got it from later because it's a whole story that I don't want to share right now. Towels, my aunt got us before we even closed on the house. And then some dishes. And then this is the um, curtain rods. And you can't really see it. Oh my gosh. She's so pretty. 
Okay, let me show you guys. Let me try to block some of this light. Man, I wish you guys could like see it, see it. But anyway, it's gonna go on this wall. So, and I can't get out of this door because it's kicked out. Um, let me go outside right quick, hold on. So when you come in, it's gonna be the first beauty you see. I'm gonna move with this thing. And it doesn't help that the glare from the natural light is blocking her shine. So there's a few things in this Target bag. The remote to the TV that was in the hallway. And then I got this like a couple Christmases ago. It's like a nightgown. Uh, but I'm like, oh, that'll be perfect for the new house. So I'll just save it. So now I just need to wash it and get it to put up. And then... So we went to um, Pahuska, Oklahoma. Lee Drummond, if you know who that is, the pioneer woman. We went to her um, like store and restaurant in Pahuska, Oklahoma. And she had these candles. Let's see, oak moss and fig. Ooh, it matches my decor. I wish y'all could smell this. It smells so yummy. It smells good. I think I'm gonna burn that right now. Okay, so got that. Going down elevator. And we went like during, I wanna say like, no, cause it was cold that day. We went when it, we went last year sometime, but I went ahead and got it because I'm like, ooh, we can put that in our new house when we get it. And I need to charge this. Hold on, let me get the charger. Duke, going down the elevator. Duke, going up elevator. Okay, hold on. Now, hopefully, this doesn't die. Hopefully, it'll still keep recording while it's charging. Anywho. Then, there was this one, and these were on sale. That one was $10, and this one was $10. Um, this one is Mandarin and Lavender. Another soy candle. I think I was thinking, why did I just show y'all the inside of this candle? I think I was thinking um, like bathroom spa kind of vibe. Let me turn this up. Which one do you like better? Hmm. This one It's not good. Excuse me. Yeah, this one. But mine. So, and that one, can I have that one in my bathroom for the, mm -mm. for the, uh, mm -mm. Why? They are not, we'll get you, we'll possibly get you a candle. I don't think they're open for a candle yet. Anyway, I got these. Oh, gosh. Probably two, two years ago? I got these like two years ago, so when i started looking into home ownership and um doing all of my research i was like okay well i might as well prepare because next year i'm getting my house now we that 
it's been longer than that, but still, I was claiming it and declaring it. So I went ahead and bought dishes. Um, these are just the dishes for that Target has that are like the color ones. And, uh, but I bought them here so I could go ahead and get them in the dishwasher and get them clean. Microwave safe, dishwasher safe. I was wondering about that. Okay, so I got three blue, and these are pretty big. I don't know what size these are, but they're the tumbler size. I got blue. Now, keep in mind, this is the color I thought I wanted in my kitchen. Now, I mean, they'll be good for like cups when we have guests, and then this like teal kind of color. They'll be nice when we have guests, but for like, um, for like everyday use too. But they're definitely not the color scheme anymore. Mike must have had the doors open because there was like a mosquito. Um, then, I did the same thing with the plates, which I like. I like these. I still like them. It just, it doesn't really, I mean, they work. I'm not gonna get rid of them. Okay, now. Come on, camera. Let me be great. Okay. And then the blue, the dark blue. And then I got the bowls. Oh, goodness. So I got. Again, same colors, blue, pink, and then this teal. And we're not done yet. So these have just been sitting at my mom's house in her, in my room. So this is like a salad bowl size. This is the other bowl. Well, let's see. What's the difference? So again, I got three of each. So, I think we're good on dishes. I mean, we don't have any glass dishes right now. Uh, don't do that, please. Okay. We don't have glass dishes right now, but I think that's That's okay, I mean, because we have dishes. My nose is itching. Um, so I'm here to go peel this tape up in my office and um, get these dishes loaded into the dishwasher. And yeah, pest control company is on their way. They should be here in a minute. And I had to stop at Panera to get another hot chai latte. Um, trying something different this morning with breakfast. Chick-fil-A, these mini biscuit things. And they're hash browns. My camera's probably gonna die, so I'm gonna charge it real quick. Today is Saturday. And, um, yeah, so after this, I have two photo shoots. The washer and dryer comes today too. I have two photo shoots. What else, what else, what else? I'm trying to talk quick. Um, and then we're going to dinner tonight for Valentine's. Me, Mike, and Aislinn. The little's coming with us. Um, she kind of invited herself, but that's okay because we wanted to do something with her for Valentine's anyway, so. All right, you guys. I will charge this camera before it dies. I've never had Chick-fil-A 
for breakfast, so I wanted to try it with you guys. Let's see, let's see. Mm, that's pretty good. I'm looking for my phone, that's in my pocket. Pest control update. You can see my face. So the guy just left and showed him what was going on and um, he told me what he thought they were, which was similar to what the other guy said. Well, then he said um, that the bug likes moisture. And so um, it's cold outside, cold and dry, so it's like trying to come in for the moisture. So, um, but he's like, I don't think you need to do services. He said, I think you can avoid spending that amount of money. He said, I'm pretty sure they're coming through the, um, through the sunk pump. <laughs> I said, huh? He said, yeah. The only moisture you have down here for them to get in is through the sunk pump. Wonderful, just wonderful. So, you know, and he said when they were building the house, they could have um, been in the sunk pump. Well, now they're done building the house, so now they're coming out of the sunk pump area. So he said, well, what I can do, and it won't charge you, is to put some bait down and then put the sticky traps around the sunk pump. And he said, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't see them anymore. And he said, and don't be surprised you come down here and there's a lot on these sticky traps or dead around the sticky traps. Um, and I'm just like, one, this is not what I wanted to hear. And two, he's like, and I'm like, okay, so you say they like to be in the, you know, what's so every winter we're going to have to deal with this? And he was like, no, once they're gone, they're gone. I'm like, okay, well, we need to get them gone. Um, so he's, um, yeah, once they're gone, they're gone. So, yeah, we'll see. So he recommended not paying all that money and waiting until April 1st and then calling and then setting up the pest control service monthly. Um, so he said then they'll treat, you know, for spiders and all the things. And he was like, give it about a week for what he did today to work. Um... Sorry, I keep uh, waiting on Best Buy to come and deliver this washer and dryer before I have to leave. So yeah, that didn't go as planned and I'm hoping that what he did works. I'm really hoping what he did works. <laughs> But it's like the other guy didn't even think about that. So. Mm. I just want them gone. It's like at this point, I just want to layer the entire perimeter of the basement with sticky traps. Like, get them. So, like, and how they could have gotten down back so fast after I had already swept is... Um, Again, they were still in the sunk pump area. So, but he said, they're nothing to fear. He was like, they run their course and then they die. And that's pretty much it. So, I, um, secretly I wanted to cry. But what are you gonna do? But he was like, just have faith in me. This is where they're coming from. And I wouldn't steer you wrong. I'm like, okay. 
And he was like, there's, he looked around, he was like, there's nowhere else they could be coming from. And he was like looking down in there and he was like, and of course you don't see them right now because you never see them when you need to. Uh, and he said, but my guess is they're more active at night. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to convince Mike to go down there and sweep for my Valentine's gift. <laughs> You go down there and sweep those up so we can see if any new ones came and where they are. And I told him, I'm like, okay, so what if this doesn't work? And he said, well, you call me and then I'll come back. I'm like, okay. Washer and dryer came today. And there's a leak. I came in here to look at it and there was water all on the floor. And you see my beautiful paint job that got messed up? Try to get closer. Yep, so the water got on the wall. And when we wiped it up, that's what happened. The joys. All ready for dinner. I actually made myself look like something. Hey, son. Hi! Honey. and we just got home and we are all so tired that is gonna be a wrap for this vlog thank you guys for watching make sure you leave a comment below hit that like button and of course hit the subscribe button until next time peace out <laughs>